Welcome to Boxing Champions. Born on the 16th of November 1999, was the two-time amateur United States champion, now highly touted heavyweight prospect, Gerard Anderson. Listed as 6 foot 4 with a 78 and a half inch reach, Gerard Anderson brings power, speed, tenacity and many more attributes to the table as he attempts to transition from highly touted prospect to heavyweight champion of the world. Gerard Anderson had a solid amateur career. Although he did not represent the United States of America in the Olympics, he did win the US National Championships in 2017 and 2018. Gerard Anderson made his professional debut on the 26th of October 2019, defeating Daniel Infante in the first round. He has subsequently gone on an unbeaten run and accumulated a record of 11-0, all 11 wins by knockout. Despite being so early in his pro career and not facing any top opposition as of yet, Gerard Anderson has shown attributes which have led to him being talked about as one of the best up-and-coming prospects. He has even been talked about as the best up-and-coming prospect in America and even the future of the heavyweight division. These are big statements considering one, his lack of opposition as a pro, and two, the fact that there are many up-and-coming heavyweight prospects who are looking very promising such as Filip Herkovic, Viktor Vickhurst, Zhang, Kozabutsky, Frank Sanchez and many more. Gerard Anderson is young at 22 years old, so he has plenty of time to learn, take the correct learning fights at the right time and develop physically. He has knocked out tough journeyman Rodney Hernandez, who sprung a few upsets and given some prospects tough fights. He also beat Kingsley Ibe, who fought Guardio Vianello to a controversial draw. Another opponent Anderson defeated was Vladimir Tisrenkin, who was unbeaten going in to the fight. There are definitely some indications that Anderson may go on to achieve in the heavyweight division. He has speed, can fight orthodox southpaw and has some power. He has also served as a sparring partner for Tyson Fury and there are many rumours that he gave Fury an extremely tough time in sparring. Since Anderson is extremely untested, it is extremely difficult to say with any certainty whether he has what it takes to become a serious contender in the heavyweight division or heavyweight champion. Anderson will need to perform at a much higher level so that his strengths and weaknesses become more apparent. Fights that could show where Anderson is operating at this stage are Kevin Johnson, Razvan Kajanu or Marius Wack. Ultimately, Anderson is an extremely exciting heavyweight prospect. He has power, speed, athleticism, can fight orthodox and southpaw and he is young. There is a lot to like about Gerard Anderson, admittedly, there are also many unknowns about Gerard Anderson, such as what will his stamina be like over 12 rounds? What happens when he meets an opponent who can take his punches? Or what happens when he gets caught flush by a prolific puncher? These are all unknown questions that need answering, which I'm sure in time will be answered. However, for now, Gerard Anderson needs to be taken along slowly, gradually increasing the level of competition so he can get the necessary learning fights that he needs at the right time so that when he does eventually step up to world level he has all the necessary experience and seasoning. How far can this man go? That remains to be seen. However, it promises to be an entertaining and exciting journey that will be followed with interest. What's happening people? Subscribe to my boxing channel for fight footage, training footage, client footage and more. You'll find boxing tips that you can apply to your own training. 
So subscribe to my boxing channel, the link is in the description.